I've done the first opening of Death Note in a different video, but I've never done the second, and I like Maximum the Hormone, so I'm excited for this. Let's go. Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. Death Note, the second opening, the full version. I'm very aware this is longer than the minute and a half version that actually goes with the real anime opening, but... I want to know the artistry of everything. I don't want the short, truncated version. I want to hear everything that the band had to write. So that's why we're doing this. Okay, with that being said, let's listen to it. Of course, that's a drop. Okay, sorry to stop so soon, but the intro is killer, man. I love it. Like, because you have such extremes. We've got a sweet guitar line. That rhythm's fun by that. Dun, 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 dun. The rhythm's like kind of crushed, it feels. I don't know. Uh, the drum call and response, super loud dynamic. And then, of course, we have a whisper tone on the voice coming back at you. So it's like, it's just an interesting uh, use of dynamics, and it's just very enjoyable to listen to. <laughs> Okay, man, these layers should be easy to identify. You got your low end. We got our kick drum playing four on the floor. But the best part is that the hi hats on this moving 16 notes. But the glue and all that is dun 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 dun. We use that rhythm all the time and like heavy parts, chunky guitar parts, and obviously voices up top. But one and two E, a three and four E, a one and two E, a three and four E. It just works. It grooves and it's easy to lock a uh, voice into that because it's just it's moving. <laughs> That's kind of a funky section. I feel like maybe the audio quality is not the best in the recording I'm listening to. There's just some fuzz there, but uh, I, I like the two variations of the voice that were in there, though. That's pretty cool. Also, the open Hyatt. When it's super splashy and dirty like that, I love it. <laughs> Okay, we'll go back five here in a second. So my favorite part in that section right there where the drop hits and the vocals get so uh, guttural and just heavy, the consistency on the snare drum playing is freaking amazing. Every single accent sounds the same, and that might not matter to you or like, or you might maybe you didn't even notice it, but it's important to us that like listen to it. It's like, dude, you love hearing players that are so consistent. Now, granted, you can do things in the studio too, but I'm just going to go with the benefit of the doubt that I love this band and I think they're all great musicians and you just, you got to appreciate that stuff because those kind of things, little things like playing consistent and everything sounds perfect drives the band and it can only imagine what it feels like when it's live. So that's very cool. <laughs> That was a fun hook there. I thought it was the same. That first part we had, da, 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 da. And that part was like, da, 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 da. going up like, mm, I probably sang that wrong, but there's like the small differences, but it makes it really fun to listen to. Back five, let's keep going. <laughs> All right, so that, that was a fun shift, right? The the guitar work gets so much uh, uh, more open, you could say. Dun -gum -ba -gum -ba -da. Did that we have a little bit more spacing. Some of the notes are long, legato. Some of the notes are short, staccato. But then the hi hat goes to eighth notes versus the previous times we had always moving on. Dicka 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 dicka. We get chucka chucka chucka. So it's a very different feel with how it. I don't know. It's a very different feel for me. It makes me feel like emotionally different on that part of the song. But then you can hear on the back side how it opens up and gets a little more dirty. So let's go back 10 seconds and experience that transition once again. Yeah. 
feel like coming out of that the heavy spot that second time, the drums were way more active than the first. I'm not positive though because I think I was focusing on different layers, but I got way more kick drum and I got a lot of snare drum uh, that were kind of, was kind of like supporting the other, the second voice, more of like the, uh, I don't know how to describe the difference, the tones and the voices, but I would say like more like the computer, a little more computer effects on it. So anyway, back five, let's keep going. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. Boom. But the bass player is pulling so hard. It's I love hearing that tone as well. There's so many different things we can do in instruments. And it's like, this is a wide variety of appreciation when players do that. And they put a lot of stuff into one song. Now, this is the obligatory, right? We say this all the time. The obligatory halftime breakdown, right? Because we come out of this motion's been going the whole time. And then we get this. This is like a B section that I'm sure at this point, you've just gotten so used to hearing because so many groups do it. But the reason we do it is because it creates huge variety and it takes the A section, which is super repetitive in its own nature with it's divided up. The A section has like variety, but if you want to create something that remember jolts your listeners back into like sitting straight back up in the chair again, you put in a, a little halftime section there. So it works really well. Let's go. That's so groovy. Boom. You get those slap tones, the slap and pull tones in the bass and in the vocals. Come on, man. This is great writing. Like I never would have thought in the, in the, the, the halftime breakdown here that we would get this kind of stuff coming out. This is so cool. Okay, I'm not surprised. I mean, after the other song we listened to them from uh, Chainsaw Man, okay, that's completely fits the band. That's great stuff. Like the build, the obligatory right way. Everything's down low. We have a clean sound of the guitars. We got low end snare drum stuff. By the end, you know, you know he's playing like everything's like 15 inches. Like it's gonna be ridiculous. And then we hit that section. Sorry, I was not ready for that transition. I need to go back and get. I just went back 10 seconds. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I didn't go back far enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hear him cough the I bet that hurts, man, in the throat. I was wondering if at that baka ga cha cha if that was like grouped or uh, if there was patterns there. They're just playing at the end. Everything breaks. Yeah, that's fun. There's a reason I like this band, and that's it right there, because the unexpected journey that we took. But it's not totally unexpected, like I mentioned, but whatever. That was great. That was a cool one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I personally had a lot of fun. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live so we can talk about your favorite openings to anime or just music in general. You can find a link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as the Discord server. If you'd like to support me, my Patreon information is down there as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. Click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Take it easy. Bye-bye.